There we go. Straight out like that. There we go. Hey, my Legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here back today with another Gibbles review. And if you saw my one live stream, I did the Nibbles Gibbles revisiting the Red Hot Chips. I want to thank Dan and Ashley. I mean, kind of to get these for me. And they said that Ashley did all the work. So thank you very much, Ashley. And this is something I never had before from Gibbles. Gibbles Cheese Puffies, white cheddar cheese flavored. It should be uh, Gibbles Baked White Cheddar Cheese Flavored Puffies. That's the way they have it organized. It said made with real cheese. Now, I heard about these. Um, now, you said whenever I got Gibbles products growing up as a kid, my very first favorite thing in the world was the Red Hot Potato. That's why I usually got them. I think Mom and Joey got their plain ones. I had the plain ones. They were good, too. And I did a couple other kettle cook flavored things, but I never had these before. And there was a... Uh, Gibbles went out of business for a while because they... There was a kind of a messed up deal and they shut down production. Someone bought the plan and shut down production. And I did a video about that. And then there was a channel called uh, Public Opinion that did a cool video called No More Nibbles with Gibbles. And they, it was like a little reporter thing and that kind of just ended. But this one lady uh, was talking about she used to buy her kid these uh, for his lunch all the time. And it was this brand right here and she showed it right here. I've never had them before. So I'm going to review them now. And now Gibbles is back in production, you know. It was kind of messed up, you know. They were gone for a couple, two years or something. But they're back now. And it says, uh, Gibbles customers have been... Oh, and there's like a store locator to find a place that actually sell Gibbles ch uh, chips now. Because they're harder to find now. Because they lost their footing in their shelf space when they when they got closed down. But they're back now. And they said, okay, Gibbles customers have been enjoying great tasting snacks made from the best ingredients since... 1959, every bag of cheesy, of cheese puffies, different from cheese puffs or Cheetos, is made with a commitment to quality and freshness. We love making cheese puffies because we love eating cheese puffies. We choose to use real cheese for our puffies because that uh, makes them taste the best to us. We know you will agree and we thank you for choosing our cheese puffies. Give us baked cheese puffies, real cheese for real taste for real people. Liar cheese puffy, and then they have others, great tasting snacks, their popcorn, the old fetch pretzels, and the home salvage. See, I haven't had a lot of those. Probably, I mean, I should try some of those sometime. Man, change burger, because I usually get the red hot because they're my favorite. And then the bag is about this full, it's not too bad. And you don't want your salt to them. And this is what they look like right here. Wow. These have a great cheese taste to them, a great texture. And a lady in doing that one video said that uh, she said it was a mother's dream because it doesn't leave that cheese residue on your hand. I had a little bit. I mean, but not that orange stuff. This is good. Yeah, I like these real well. I don't think they're quite as good as the Harris cheese curls. Like their jalapeno cheese puffs with a deep dish pizza. Those are fantastic. These are really good, though. I want to thank Dan and Ashley for sending these to me. Yeah, I give these an 8 out of 10. We're going to go for Gibbles. Baked white cheddar cheese flavored puffies. So until next time, everybody, please take care of my legion. Thank you again, Ashley. And oh, I may, well, Dan said Ashley did all the work, so I'm going to say Ashley and Dan. But both. So thank you very much. Take care of my legion. All right, here we go.